Hi there Leo, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present and future and I'm going to be pulling out oracle cards at the end. Okay Leo, so let's get started. Can I get the past energy for Leo please? The past energy for Leo. The past energy for Leo. Leo. Okay, one more. Leo. All right, so the past energy for Leo. The lovers. But with the page of pentacles in reverse. And the wheel of fortune. Okay, and the present energy, the three of swords in reverse, the five of cups in reverse, the six of cups, and the three of wands, and um, the future energy, it's the four of swords, okay. That's why the Six of Wands is showing up in reverse. And the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And the overall energy for the reading for Leo. The Knight of Pentacles. I feel like there is an energy that's heading towards you. Okay, a slow energy. Uh, they're trying to think things through. They're trying to be methodical here. Okay. Um, so it seems like you are dealing with a very special connection with the Lover's card. However, I feel like this is someone that's not really making an offer. There may not even be communication. And with the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune talks about like a fated encounter or like someone wanting things to take a turn for the positive here. But um, there could be a delay with the present energy. Like someone having to overcome pain or even loss. It just seems like there's someone that's waiting and you could be dealing with a soulmate here with the Six of Cups. So when I clarify, I'll gain more understanding. It's like, I, I see someone overcoming pain from the past. So what's this delay here? But there could be a distance between you and this person. And with the Four of Swords, I feel like there is someone that's thinking about you. There's heavy contemplation. But yet at the same time, I don't see forward momentum with the Six of Wands in reverse and there's confusion with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So let me clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Clarifying the Knight of Pentacles for Leo, please. Clarifying the Knight of Pentacles. Clarifying the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. The Tower in Reverse. Oh, the Ten of Cups in reverse. There's someone that's wanting to pick up the pieces and rebuild, but it's like they're quite unhappy that the both of you are not together in the 3D. Okay, so it's like the Ten of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. But it's like there's like a lack of clarity or this person's not wanting there to be stagnancy with the Hangman in reverse. So let me clarify 
further. Just let me get one more card. Yeah, because this person does have a lot of love for you, okay? But they could be wearing a mask. And I see them heading towards you in a very slow and methodical fashion. Possibly wanting to pick up the pieces with the tower in reverse. So let me clarify the lovers. Oh boy, but it's like the king of wands in reverse. So I feel like there's like a lack of expression with the page of pentacles in reverse and the king of wands in reverse. The nine of cups. And the nine of swords in reverse. Let me get one more card. Yeah, they could, like there's like a lack of um, expression, a lack of communication, or someone not speaking their truth. Okay. Uh, they could seem like they're fine though with the Nine of Cups. It's like. But it's like, let me clarify the page of pentacles in reverse before I say anything else. It's like someone having to overcome their fears or nerves. There you go, the six of cups. Yeah, just as I said it, there are fears here with strength in reverse. So. It could be like fears that stem from the past, but it's like they seem like they're okay with the Nine of Cups. But it's like the Six of Cups and Judgment and Strength in Reverse. So you could be dealing with a soulmate. And Judgment talks about like a fated encounter, someone having to make a profound choice. But there could have been fears with Strength in Reverse. So let me clarify the Wheel of Fortune. And there you go, the Wheel of Fortune again. The Nine of Pentacles, okay? So you could be focused on your own wish fulfillment. But yeah, it's like there's someone that's not really expressing how they feel. And you could be going through positive changes and you're showing up as the Nine of Pentacles. So you're someone that's very self-focused. You could be focused on your independence and taking great care of yourself. The Wheel of Fortune twice. But that could very well be talking about like a fated encounter, okay? Um, but someone not being expressive. Expressive. With the Knight of Cups in reverse. So let me clear. There you go. There is someone that's thinking about you though with the Seven of Pentacles. Okay? The Three of Swords in reverse twice. With the Five of Swords in reverse. So there is someone that's thinking about you. There's heavy contemplation. But at the same time, I feel like there is someone that's having to overcome pain or let go of pain. Okay? Um, so if there is conflict, to overcome any sort of conflict as well. So let me see. Let me clarify the Five of Cups in reverse. I feel like this person not wanting this connection to be a loss. But at the same time, they're not really taking action. Okay? With the Knight of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Um, so let me clarify the Six of Cups with the Three of Wands. Even though there's like something unresolved within this connection, it could be something unresolved from the past and that's why there's a delay or like someone could be waiting. There you go, the Ace. Of, to, there's someone that's wanting to communicate or bring clarity to the situation. With the Ace of Swords. Oh, look at that Three of Wands. That's why, but there's confusion or indecision. Let me get one more card. There you go. So it seems like you are dealing with a very special connection with the Two of Cups. But there's confusion, a delay. So let me clarify the Four of Swords. But look at that, the Four of Wands in reverse. So I feel like this person's thinking about you, but um, the both of you may not be together in the 3D. Death. And the Two of Pentacles. There's someone that's weighing their options, okay? Trying to figure out what to do. Um, possibly wondering if there's an ending or not. Okay? Um, so that's why they could be unhappy. So let me clarify the Six... Of wands in reverse before I say anything else. The Queen of Swords. 
So you're showing up as a queen of swords, okay? You're trying to be logical, practical, possibly wanting the truth. So let me see. Yeah, it's like there's difficulty achieving balance within this connection. Even though there's like a... I feel like someone's... There's someone that has the desire to take down any sort of walls or barriers within this connection. But there's difficulty in doing so, like with the Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Six of Wands in reverse. Like, yeah, there's someone that's wanting to communicate, okay? Um... But there's confusion surrounding communication. There's desire here, though, with the star card, okay? Um, and there's someone that's wanting to manifest this connection into the 3D. So that's why the Knight of Pentacles showed up. It's like a slow energy that's heading towards you. Yeah, but I, I see a disconnect, though, with the Hierophant card in reverse. Because there's confusion. It's like... Somebody having the desire to communicate, okay? Wanting there to be a swift energy exchange. Wanting to manifest this connection into the 3D. So let me get one more card. Yeah, there, <laughs> there's the Knight of Pentacles. It's like a slow energy heading towards you. Okay, so let me get... It's so weird. It's like... All these issues and then all of a sudden... Like... I see this slow energy heading towards you with the Knight of Pentacles showing up twice. So it started with the Knight of Pentacles and now it ends with the Knight of Pentacles. So let me get further insight from the Intimate Tarot. So it's like the Eight of Pentacles... Yeah, there is someone that's thinking about you. There's heavy contemplation. But like with the Five of Pentacles, someone could be feeling like they've been left out in the cold or there could be even like a fear of rejection. And with the Four of Swords, there is someone that's thinking about you. So if you're showing up as the Queen of Swords, they're trying to gain insight into the way you feel towards them. Again, that Knight of Pentacles energy. So there is a slow energy that's heading towards you. They do have a lot of love for you, but... The Six of Swords is like moving forward away from conflict. Oh boy, so there is someone that's wanting to express how they feel. But um, there could very well be fears and you could share a strong bond with this person. With strength, okay. And there is a desire here. A desire to balance things out, okay. And the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. One more. Yeah, there is someone that's wanting to move forward within this connection. But it could be like... There could be like slow movement. So let me get messages from the Oracle deck for Leo. Um, so rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. So there could be like a break here or uh, demonstrate love. Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. Okay. And... Love makes a difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security. Let me get one more card. Okay. Oh, two cards. You are limitless. Embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. Okay. So this is card number six. Card number 12, which is three. Card number 31, which is 4. So 4-4. Four, four. And card number 18, which is 9. So let me get messages from the Romance Angel deck for Leo, please. Leo. 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 Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So there could be someone that has a lot of passion towards you. 
forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment so this could be like someone having to let go of any unresolved pain from the past okay and separation time apart from your partners on the horizon so there could be a break here or like a separation and let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others okay and one more card and it's like flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others okay so that's my reading for you leo and i'll see you next time take care now